This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I've been getting some questions about how I make money on the internet, on YouTube. Just wanted to break it down a bit further than I ever have and give you a bit of a hack when it comes to negotiating with companies as well as getting yourself a manager. I'm managed by this amazing company called Space Station Integrations, and they're the ones who have connected me with so many amazing brands, Squarespace being one of them. Very quickly about Squarespace, just if you're not a web designer and you need an online presence, which you do, for a plethora of reasons, but especially if you're gonna do what I'm gonna talk about in this video, uh, Squarespace is, is the tool to get it done. The templates are fantastic. Just the way to manipulate the templates, the way to get a blog on there, to get an email list, to get products, whatever you need to put on a website, Squarespace helps you do it. You can purchase your domain through them. Just everything that you need on the web, squarespace.com slash Cody Warner if you wanna try it out, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner for 20% off your first purchase. You might be asking yourself, like, well, at what level of YouTube, of, of like follower account, engagement rates, whatever, at what level could I get a manager? For me, it happened around like 20 to 30,000 subscribers, but I think there's probably a lot of variables. I don't really like things where there's a lot of variables. I like to be able to take things into my own hand. But before I go there, let me back up a little bit and say, why do you need a manager? Why is a manager helpful? The biggest thing is when it comes to reaching out to brands, negotiating with brands, just the communication between a creator and a brand, it is so much simpler to negotiate on someone else's behalf than it is to try to negotiate a rate for a video on your own behalf. Because what can often happen when you're saying, I'd love to make you this video, this is how much the sponsorship will cost, whatever, if the brand feels like that's too much money or that's out of their budget, they might feel like they'll offend you if they come back and say, oh, well, we only have this, would you be willing to work for that? And, and rightly so, like, it's a weird, it's a weird conversation, right? But when you take yourself out of the equation and a manager is talking on your behalf, working, negotiating for you, that really that really just sort of makes it it makes it less personal. So, a manager in my opinion is a much easier way to get into brand deals, get into sponsorships than it is to reach out to brands and try to negotiate your own sponsorships. But maybe you don't know a management company, maybe you've not been approached by a management company yet, what should you do? Here's what I think you should do. And there's other benefits to this than just having someone to negotiate on your behalf. And I'll get to that, I'll touch on those briefly. But what I think you should do is you should find somebody who's at a similar level of YouTube to you, who's taking it seriously, who wants to incorporate sponsorships, who wants to make money from their channel. Because not everybody does, and that's totally fine. But someone who has a similar mindset, they want to grow, maybe they're the type of person who would buy a ticket to Vid Summit, or the type of person who's like actively investing in the growth of their channel and wanting to make money from it. Find someone like that that you jive with and say, hey, why don't we link up? Why don't we become like partners in in what we're what we're doing and trying to grow? Just checking in on each other, asking questions. I've done this millions of times with different people, but you know, you're workshopping thumbnails or workshopping titles, and that's so helpful. But also form an entity. If you're gonna accept money, I would I would say just make an LLC because it's cheap enough and just do it, but where you're able to manage each other. Okay, and what I mean by that is when you're reaching out to a brand or when a brand reaches out to you and said, hey, we'd love for you to do this review, you hop right on and you say, thanks so much. I've included my manager, Jess, on this email. The two of you can talk about rates, but I'm excited to work with you and, uh, and looking forward to working together. Send it off, Jess's email is there, and now, Jess is gonna hop on that email and can discuss, you know, just like any manager would, can discuss with you what's the rate that you wanna get, like how do you want this to go, how much creative control do you want, would you do it for free just for, because you want the product, whatever it is, but now you have someone who's negotiating on your behalf that you don't have to pay yet because you are doing the same exact thing for them. For me, there's just, there is such, there is such a wonderful strength in being a part of a team. And I think the more ways we can do that, the more ways we can kind of create community around what we're doing, what creators are doing, and and just having somebody to talk to, having somebody to work with and, and to fight for you, 
I, I think that's great. So this is my theory on if you don't have a manager and you want one, find somebody who also wants one, manage each other and grow together. Probably wanna consider turning it into an LLC, definitely need a website and an email address to go with that website to just make it all above board. And, uh, and that's where I'd, I'd say Squarespace comes in. Squarespace, thanks so much again for sponsoring. I hope that you're just having a blast. If you're looking for someone to do this with, I would recommend hopping in the Facebook group, No Small Creator, or there's, a, there's bunches of other communities out there where I think you can find great people who are trying to do what you're trying to do. Just, just rooting for you, all right? Let's go, let's get this thing.